Coming to you live from Slayman Main Stadium in Tara Bay, home of the Mutineers. This stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is feeling it. Yeah, especially that guy with that sword in his back. Well, what do you expect? It was free Saber Day for the Mutineers. First thousand fans get a rusty dull sword. Remember, in the MFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The Grim Bay Attackers battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, uh, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Opa! Uh-huh, it's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take your shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven. That'll warm you up. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, at the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Second down and seven. And the defense was reading him like a book. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. And it's first and ten. an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And Metcalf will give him a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy's full on berserk. Or at least he can suck. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a Fantastic! 
And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot two. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Well, that's a strange penalty call right there. Uh, I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Get him here! Get him here! First and low offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down and forever. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Another interception. You should give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. You'd expect punch him. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Running like he had a load in his pants. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the gas. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. First down of seven. <laughs> Second down and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to hit more receptions than the offense. Nice hit! <laughs> it's a time warp dirty trick! The last play is a race! How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. it will be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> oh, like the quarterback said, they blow up the defense. 
defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second down and ten. Train. Nice pick up there for a first down. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah, that's like... Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 70... Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Yeah. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. And I'm like, oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> And this game is up for grabs. First down and less than a yard. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. First and four. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Third down and the punter is warming up. Five yard gain on that pass play. Hey, look at the coach, he's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now that would be worthy of a Jumbotron shot. Yeah, nice up. The kick is good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chimp wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Crunched. 
Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potatoes. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusive. I hope you covered your ears, Brick. Man, one incomplete the receiver couldn't get there and yeah, need to get his mother third down and three waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And this guy is on Fuego. Does he look like the original of the boom, dead and down? He delivered the freak. Oh, man. I can take death and dismemberment, but that was, that was really just gross. First and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Third down and five. And he breaks away. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Oh. 
second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they got out the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> First down and one. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. Any proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. right there folks <laughs> and it's first and ten and that is caught for a first down Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my face. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same bloodmobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Well, that's how he spends his entire offseason. Well, why 
why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Brits can't even get one. Oh. Two-point plays are high-risk, high-reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. <laughs> the ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey. Anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my butt? Under two minutes, a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the... With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwarm Galaxy phone. I hope some lucky fan gets to cast the ball. This is going to be a great kick. With how hard he's going to have to kick it, he'd probably die, Bricks. Pass me the binoculars. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good. Huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping you right there. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. I'll wreck your world. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. so hard i went into a dark tunnel thought i saw my grandparents waving at me in the light turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face i feel like i've been here before is this deja vu this is like our brazilian season dumbass actually i think he's talking about the time warp dirty trick that the defense just played still a dumbass though he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Third down and ten. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Oh, nice hit. Oh. 
And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Excuses for this QB. You just, you just, oh, with the punishing hit. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grim. And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and a lot. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. Ouch! What is this, 80? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row. First and ten. long and another interception 
interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. And he's off to the races. Look at that. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo grim. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Now he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Like the quarterback said, they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Down and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. First down! He was... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the NFL! First and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interception, but when I do, it's when the game is on the line. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And it's first and ten. Kaboom! And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown! point but you never know with kickers <laughs> oh man he just laid the wood on that guy yeah if you're gonna hit a guy that hard you should at least kill him do him a favor Finish him. he sets up for the return let's see if he can break one wide open First and 
ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> the third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. I got the thing stuck in my ear again. Stuck to him like glue. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, Saban printed that scout for a signal when they were doing it. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that put six points on the board! The defense could do anything to stop a thrown at good man. You mean aside from priming the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Turn! And here comes the extra point attempt. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and the cornerback is down. Zoom in on his face. I want to see if the little bastard's crying. I can't pretend it. I won't even get out of you. Second down and more than the QB would like. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. You gotta be kidding me. My sister could have made that kick. Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? They're looking for a good return after giving a point. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Oh, that guy? Or is it that one? Or that one over there? Now just follow the screens, Bricks. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. Thanks, Grim. Second down in a very lot. He boomed that one. 
Let's see if they can get a return. No return on this pump. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And he's off to the races. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. He's a midnight smoker. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. Boom, dead and down. Was he can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you, but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles, and it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded for the rest of the game. Ah, and if they lose him, will they have to forfeit? Oh, talk about pressure. I'm going to have to take the value before this one ends. Hey, you all been out on me. And it's first and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? Deadline ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. They might catch him. Move your fat little mutant. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. Oh, big catch. Big run. Big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall out. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over.
It's first and ten. Save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Mm, it's complicated. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing in the hurry of offense, you moron. I am so confused. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Uh, come on out. And Terra Bay Mutineers shook the opposition and win it home by forfeit. Dead men tell no tales, men. That's why I'm going to kill you. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you not? shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.